Oh my God. What am I witnessing? I'm Ashley, and this is Gordon's story for GeoBeats. I was going to take our trash out at night, and I saw something on the ground in our driveway. I was like, oh God, you know, there's a little tiny, tiny animal. He fell from a tree. That is the cutest thing I've ever seen. I didn't know what to do. There weren't any local rehabbers that could take him. We tried to reunite with his mom, tried putting him out in the back. We actually played squirrel sounds and no one came down the tree. So we're like, all right, well, we're going to take care of him. We're going to get him to where he'll be able to go back outside. I had to learn emergency squirrel care. It was like having a human newborn. He had to eat every two to three hours. They have to be held upright. They're supposed to have a very specific formula and they have a squirrel one. They will not drink it if it's not warm. You have a coffee mug with warm water with these little syringes and you're constantly making sure they stay warm. We would be waking up at the weirdest hours just to make sure that he was okay. God, squirrels are such vicious creatures. They have a heating pad. We had enough blankets. The humidity has to be a certain level. I mean, it was pretty obvious he was injured. How messy little squirrels are. The first little rooted block. Oops. On one side, he cannot see at all. On the other side, he has perfect vision. It's over here, buddy. He smells it, but can't see it. He started trying to walk around. He couldn't. There was just something wrong. He can't walk in a straight line. A lot of times when they have neurological damage, they'll walk with a lean or they won't be able to climb. Hey, neurofriend. He could never survive in the wild. His balance is like off today. Look at that. He's a year and a half now. I mean, it's a squirrel. They never seem older. <laughs> it's... We were obsessed with watching Gordon Ramsay. Gordon! So his name became Gordon and then pecans because of food and cooking. And he loves pecans. Just when you think they can't get cuter, you give them a strawberry. He's my third child. <laughs> the thing is, if I put him over here, he comes right back. I mean, he has taken over a bedroom. No matter what, I cannot leave the room without him looking for me. Okay, Gordon. We have a squirrel Daddy. obstacle course. Yeah. Come on, buddy. Yeah. In the morning, if he's in his little bed, I'm like, good morning, Gordon. And he just pokes his little head out and is instantly like ready to go. Good morning, Gordon. Oh, hi. At nighttime, he'll want me to have him cradled like a baby and we'll lay on his back with his little paws up. The cutest thing that squirrels do is they actually lift their little arms and they want you to cut them under their arm and on their neck. And I'll usually give him a nut too. <laughs> so he'll get like a little bedtime snack. The thing that's so special about Gordon and I, he just wants to be either on my shoulder, held up against me, or I mean, I'm a tree. I have become a tree. I'm no longer a human, I'm a tree. He actually chooses to eat his nuts on me, which is weird. I love you. Usually they hoard them and get very angry if anyone goes near them. He will hide them on me, in the hood of my sweatshirt and in my hair. Sure, no problem. I swear he thinks it's a nest. <laughs> Good job. There have been times that he has hidden nuts in my sweatshirt and I'll suddenly take my sweatshirt off after being with him and nuts fall on the ground. He's like a tiny dog that climbs like a cat. <laughs> the bond with a squirrel is so different because it's built on respect. Are those your favorite? One thing they do not like is something smelling different. So if I take a shower and I go in there, he has a tendency to be kind of like, who are you? But all I have to do is look at him and just say like, no, 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 don't do that. And he actually stops. And I only attribute it to the respect I have because he's wildlife. Hey. He's not meant to be here. Squirrels make horrible pets. There's nothing wrong. I would never, ever, ever have kept him if I thought he could be in the wild. I will always make sure I do what's best for him. I love you. I don't know how I was chosen to do this. It's like I don't want to stick. 
My girlfriend also helped me. I would never have been able to do this alone. <laughs> His paws have banana all in them. I have two young boys and they also got to experience what it's like to watch a baby animal grow and what it requires. I like how you crawled out for your pet. I feel honored. It's wildlife that's terrified of us. He somehow trusts me and that still blows my mind. And that's just, it's special. And I, I truly, I feel crazy, but I truly love him.